Hi everybody, welcome to Aikido Flow. Now, life is cheap to some people. I realise that, I realise because um, some people they will happily pull out a weapon, potentially lethally hurt you, even pull out a gun and shoot you, which I actually witnessed in a club I worked at a long time ago. And some people, life is just cheap. They'll happily take somebody's life, you know, not even care, okay? So what I'm gonna be talking about you today is when Aikido saved my life. Now, if you're a little bit squeamish, turn this off now. Don't even look at it because I know that the injury I sustained wasn't really a major injury, but to some people, it was major. A lot of people I showed couldn't look at it. You know, they were sick to their stomach by it, but it just, it just made me realize how, how glad I am that I even started to learn Aikido because it actually potentially saved my life. So we're gonna have a look at this. Okay, let's take this back to the beginning, okay? All right, I'm working in a nightclub. So I'm working there on the door and we have an altercation with somebody. He gets thrown out. Now, I didn't see most of it. I wasn't even a part of this. As one of the other members of security dealt with the whole situation. This guy thro gets thrown out. Okay, now, in my experience, okay, we get a lot of talk back, you know? Yeah, you wait there, I'll come back for you. Wait, I'm coming, blah, blah. That's the kind of guy that you just say, yeah, whatever. The guy who you throw out and he just says to you, all right, cool. That's the guy you wanna watch out for because anyone is gonna come back and hurt you. They're not gonna give you a warning tell you wait here, I'm coming back. Rah, 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 rah. They're gonna walk away quietly and they come back. Very rarely they come back, but this guy came back and he's having, you know, a confrontation with one of the members of security. Now I'm just kind of standing back, I'm watching. Sometimes it's best in, our, in a situation not to kind of circle a person and intimidate them. You want them to just be able to say their piece and walk away. But this guy, there was something different about him. He, you can tell his intention was to inflict pain. Suddenly, uh, pushing and shoving starts. It all starts, it all just kind of starts to kick off because this guy is aggressive and the argument went on for quite a while. So it's pretty obvious this guy was adamant that he wanted some sort of, something to happen, some sort of repercussion. He wanted something to happen. So he's confronting one member of security in his face and he's just getting really, really aggressive. Okay, so he's having the altercation with the bounce in front of him. So I come up and I grab him. And my hand is here, I'm just saying, look, my man, relax, calm down. I want him to know that, look, I'm not trying to hurt him. I'm not trying to put a choke on him or anything like that. I'm just saying, look, hey, my man, look, relax. Let him know there's more people here. You're gonna lose, you know, you've got this person in front of you. I'm here behind you. There's another doorman here. You're gonna lose, okay? So I'm just letting him know that, look, I'm here, okay? And then suddenly, I'm, uh, his hand comes up. And it, come, and it comes up and he does something here. Okay, now I'm thinking nothing of it. But when I look, okay, I'm just talking to him here, but when I look, I see he's wearing like a t-shirt and I'm seeing all this blood on his t-shirt. I'm thinking, what's, what's going on? There was blood everywhere. And I'm thinking, damn, did, I, did my watch catch his chin or something? Or what happened here? And it's only then when I looked, I see my finger had been sliced open and then I looked at his hand his hand is here and I look he's got like a Stanley knife in his hand I just see the blade sticking out so right then that's when the adrenaline starts to kick in I'm thinking damn he just cut me so first thing I do I go for the hand with the knife in but here I haven't really got a good grip so we're struggling we start to struggle a bit okay so my focus now is on the knife you know, I was thinking from me, I could have taken his head back or something, but my focus is here now. So what I did from this point onwards, I let go around his neck and I went for his hand with both my hands, okay? I came here and I came underneath here, here. Nice little thank you. And I got a nice lock on his arm. And then from here, 
I just bang, I hit him once in his face and that kind of loosened him up. And as I put more pressure here, his hand opened and the knife dropped out. And at this point, everybody just jumped on him, jumped on him, pinned him down and just held him down. We got rid of the knife, took the knife away from him and just held him down and just restrained him. I was trying to be like, you know, the good cop at the good cop, bad cop routine. I was trying to be a good one, just kind of, but he was, obviously his intention was just to hurt people. And what shocked me is that I didn't feel a thing. I didn't feel a thing until I saw the blood and it was, it was only afterwards when the whole situation calmed down. First, they got a bit of first aid, they wrapped it up and that's when the pain kicked in. So now I was sent off to hospital, thought I was gonna need some stitches. Fortunately, I didn't need any stitches. They put the strips on it, just uh, the butterfly strips, they call it, I think, just to hold it all in place, wrapped it up. And as you see, it healed up pretty nicely. So I was fortunate. I was fortunate he didn't slash any arteries or any tendons or anything like that. And I'm fortunate I've still got full use of my hand. So it just made me realize to some people, they really don't care. They will go about hurting anybody. And it just makes you think the amount of damage he could have done, his hand was down here. If he had cut an artery on the inside of my thigh or something with that standing off, I may not be here today. My instincts just kind of kicked in and what I've been practicing for years kind of kicked in and potentially saved my life. You know, I'm happy that it ended out, it ended that way because it could have been so much worse. So just remember, some people, life is cheap. So we'll see you next time on Aikido Flow.